All right, everybody pay attention. Curtis did catch fish on this fly. So it must mean it's really, really good. I didn't say foolproof, but it's basically there. All right, so this is a hair wing done in Adam's colors. So it's a cool fly. You can fish it as an attractor or during a caddis hatch. We were fishing it during a caddis hatch and it, it worked really well. So you start out with just a regular dry fly hook. And I'm just going to use Camel Brown uh, UTC, or I mean uh, Uni 1, or Uni 8 op. Jeez. Um, the tail on this one is going to be moose to add a little bit of floaty float. Just a few fibers. Curtis and Lance are sitting here rudely texting each other. Oh, my Apple Watch even bogarted me. To you and Curtis. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, go float. We'll cover the shop. Don't worry about it. Ugh. All right. So I'm going to take a little bit of this hair. I'm going to tie it in roughly the length of the body. And... If you can see, I, I, I put two tight wraps, and I'm just going to kind of barber, barber pull that forward a bit, and then I'll cinch it down up here, and that's basically the tail. So I'll tie that hair down a little bit more so it doesn't twist. And now I'm just going to use uh, Adam's Gray Superfine Dub. Keep the body pretty sparse on this one. That's a good taper right there. I don't care who you are. All right, so that's about where we want to be. And now I'm going to take two hackles. I like to tie them in separately. Just Grizzly and Coachman Brown. And my Coachman Brown's a little bit longer than my Grizzly. And sometimes I'll do that on purpose just so that I can have the effect of the two colors, but not have the hackle be super dense uh, at the longer lengths, if that makes sense. I think the fish can eat it a little bit better if you do one hackle a little bit longer than the other so I'll just take those and I'll wrap them both at the same time I'll wrap them about up to here I don't need a ton of really thick hackle here and now I'm just going to tie in an overwing and since it's Adams and the body's gray I'm just going to use some gray select cow elk or this might actually even be X caddis deer I can't remember but any any of the gray hair I like uh, select cow elk a lot for this fly Okay, once I've got the hair, I'm going to tie it in roughly elk hair caddis style. And you don't need to worry about trimming the hackle under the wing. So I'm just going to give it kind of two loose wraps and then tighten it ever so gently. I may or may not have broken my thread on this fly and uh, had to replace the wing already. So I'll pull it and then I'll pull up a little clump, wrap through it, do it again. Do that three or four times till I get to the head. And once I whip finish, I'll just find the long pieces and trim it off. And there we go. A hair wing done in Adam's coloration.
that's the way it should look right there the end